I'd like to share with you a system of warm-ups. I'm a fanatic about warm-ups and I don't think we warm up properly all the time. I hear a lot of flute players diving down into the low register and blowing really loud. I don't think that really is a very good way of warming up. So I'd like to share with you the notion of using harmonics. And the reason I choose harmonics, if someone were to ask me, Bill, what is flute playing all about? I'd have to say it's the balance between speed and amount of air. Now, for me, harmonics achieve this the best. So let me just show you. If we finger low D, and we're going to sound, sound the flute sounding an A2, but use the low D fingering. Now you might notice that I'm not using any tongue. That is deliberate. I'm actually doing something called gold fishing, which we might touch on later as well. The idea of gold fishing is just a simple thing like a goldfish. And if you just put your lips forward, then you're depending on the speed of air. So this balance between speed and amount of air, this is, should be going through our mind all the time. Now, then what I do is I move through a series of chromatic, simple chromatic melodies. I'll just show you this in a few, a few instances. I'm stopping there, this finger G is a sounding D. The reason I stop there is really when we go on past that, the intonation gets very, very strange. So what I'm listening for all the time in this balance is purity of sound and an absolutely smooth way of playing. We should be able to play these warm-ups very, very freely. Don't think of doing them too rhythmically. So when I get up to the top G, finger G, I turn around again, so we get this. Aha, I didn't use proper breath support that time. So let's go back to the initial harmonic. <clears throat> Listen out for the sort of sound that you want. If you get a sound like this, well, that's not too nice. That's just using too much air or being way too tight here. Or if you get a sound like this, not using enough breath support. So listen to the quality of sound. This is not an automatic exercise. So on. So when we finish the exercise, it should sound like this. And aim to play this exercise with your full breath. So for example, and so on. Another great warm-up is a whistle tone, or also known as a whisper tone. This is a subtone that we get by hardly blowing into the flute. In fact, we keep our lips very relaxed and use very little air. It's like the leftovers from a low note when you finish playing, you get this little trail on afterwards. This in itself, it doesn't matter what note you get, but this in itself is a great warm-up because we're using very little air, but we're using air under a lot of pressure down here, which I'll talk about later. And I picked the note A because it seems to sound the easiest for me. Anyway, pick whatever note you like. A 
It's a challenge to try to get the same note steady for a couple of seconds. Don't worry about it if you don't. This takes time. I've been doing this for many, many decades. And one of the, not a secret, but one of the ways of doing this is making sure that your tongue is in a high whistle position. Simply whistle. When you get to the top, that's the shape you should have. Now, we can also get added value out of this. If we use this whistle tone and then inject a lot of air, by really trying to change nothing, hardly anything, we get quite a large sound in the low register. But I'll talk more about this later on in, under this section of tone development. Another way of warming up, in addition to the harmonics, and I would always start with harmonics, is to take a melody. Now you notice I didn't use the word scale, because I hate scales. The notion of doing scales monotonously is really boring for me. So let's take a nice simple key like F major. And I always start in the middle. And the reason I start in the middle is that for me, and maybe for you, it's the most usual register. It's also the register where we're least likely to do strange things. We can always do them, but it's least likely there. So if I pick a middle F, and I really work, again, like I said about the harmonics, work on getting a nice, pure, well-focused sound. And if you want to use gold fishing, by all means use it. And I just add a note every time like this. And as I keep playing, I'm really concentrating on not squeezing here. I'm getting my speed of air from down here, which I'll also talk about later. It's like literally going up steps of the stairs, which really is what a scale means. It's from the Italian la scala, which means steps or stairs. So try to get from that middle F to the top F by using your speed of air only and not using any tightening. 